Hey y'all, this is Greg. Finally getting around to uh, making video of the walk around of my boat. I've had a lot of a lot of requests, and um, so I'm just gonna walk around and show y'all what's what. So here it is. And where to start? Well, the the frame is probably what most of y'all are interested in the most. This right here, this is just metal tubing, fence post tubing from a hardware store. They call it European fencing. My original boat was made out of galvanized fence posts, and it was too, um, too brittle. So I got that running all the way across the boat. And in the tank well, there are little spacers. You can't see them anymore because I got foam in there. But uh, there's just two bolts going through there holding that in. Uh, the ice chest are buckled down to that European post, and I just reinforced the uh, the transom motor mount with some angle iron. And this is an old adapter from a receiver right here. The deck is made of this is warehouse rack from shelving. If you can see it through there, the top is off a one of those uh, wire carts. There's two pieces of shelving that I spray painted black because it looked like a barbecue grill. Put all that together. Uh, the ice chests are screwed on to the European rack. And then silicone down in the bottom. So I got two bolts going through here. And these ice chests, if you're wondering, these are for storage, not for fish. We've got fish bags. You got anchor, gas, tools, sockets, and everything else in case. Sitting on top of a piece of PVC pipe back here, and that's where my outriggers slide in. And I'll get to that in a little bit. The uh, trolling motor is deployable and steerable from these cables here that run up to these pedals up here. So I can drop this trolling motor cut the shaft down. I've got the wires running through this kind of computer network netting stuff that comes up to my throttle. It's up here so I can turn it on and steer it from up here. Which I guess leads us to the seating. Uh, these black pieces here are nothing more than shelves off of plastic polyurethane uh, audio visual cart and these are stadium chairs you can get these for about 20 bucks so those flip up acorns are falling right now so sounds kind of crunchy so I'll ride in these things if I got another passenger till I get to where I'm going and then I'll fold them down and sit up on the ice chest where I've got the uh, the padded seats and everything um, Scotty triple mount Got my fish grips and everything, uh, iPod holder and iPod input, my stereo, solar panel, it's one of my mounts for my GoPro up here, and on this painter's pole here, up at the top, I don't know if you can see it or not, is another GoPro mount, that's what I take most of my videos with, put a float on it, and I can put it in any pole holder, and um, put it where I want, put it underwater. Got my Hawaiian gig, Hawaiian gaff, made out of shovel handle, some rope for decoration, and 3 8 inch threaded rod. Or it's really, really effective with kings and, and other stuff. They don't get away, it'll stun them. Pirate flag, American flag, of course. That's important. The trolley anchor system here. Let's see, the front end gave me fits for a long time. Um, I did have it just coming across just this piece here from there to there, but what would happen is the boat would run pigeon toed. Um, do the weight of the passengers, they would kick inwards like this and it wouldn't run true. So I had to find a way to distribute the weight from the middle to the outsides without sacrificing my hatch, being able to get into my hatch. So I had to come up with the spacer system, come up, 
and over and it's rock solid both uh both boats are together if you uh, trying to lift it i got it winched down right now but um if one moves the other moves now where before uh, they were kind of they weren't independent but they would flex almost independently uh, creating stress a um, bunch of carriage bolts and stuff this is bolted to here this one goes all the way through so two go all the way through the deck and I have uh, probably two inch fender washers and a ton of silicone in there so I can still get into my still get into my hatches life jackets oh important well, it may be important but important to me I have these boats filled with two-part expandable foam from the back of the hatch all the way back so these boats are unsinkable uh, same thing with the outriggers those are completely full full of foam um, but I can get into my hatches now and I had to sacrifice one of my straps it used to come across right here so my workaround with that was pool noodle which also deflects water so I can pop that in there like that kind of pinches that back part of the hatch down actually works better than the better than the original strap um, of course it's a motor boat you have to register it guess we'll get on to the uh, electronic parts of it got a hummingbird 385 CI with the nav card inside spot soundings and everything so you can really zoom in it's Bob Hall Pier Port Aransas and one of the rigs I go out to and it is uh, highly highly detailed maps and uh, car stereo uh, you've probably seen the speakers got four speakers on here let's see here we got these are deck lights on each side my switch console here um, got headlights on the front and those are adjustable up and down and left and right these are 20 bucks at the auto store and uh, those are good for for floundering um, can pivot them in and out fishing in trees and weeds and on the river whatnot pole holders up here and a mooring line when I launch it uh, then you have nav lights so there's there's nav lights which are wildcat um, LED waterproof LED red and green and then uh, this one I converted to LED this did have a bulb in it and this is extendable so I can I can raise that up like so so there's the there's the nav lights. Got a car alarm on it. Just pretty loud. And I had green lights on this one, but I took them off. They were kind of flaking out on me. Uh, solar panel up here. Let's see what else. A $40 electric winch, which is cool. It helps. And you may have noticed a flatbed trailer. This is a vent, it's a scupper hole basically I put up here because uh, some electronics. Got an Alpine amp hooked to my stereo. It's, it's my green light right here. The neon green light. Onboard charger that comes in right here. Plugs in if it's sitting too long. Um, master power switch kill the whole thing except for power to the battery by switching that off and I'm running a gel cell battery Odyssey and it, it gets the job done got 12 volt bubbles on there and about 15 feet of tubing uh, with two stones and that runs to the inside of here and pops out down here so I can just plug the 
the hose in and run it down my deck. It's pretty handy. Um, power bus running everything back, back the boat and everything. All the wires run underneath. Got to solder everything where you should at least. Everything's running up underneath there and down the back. See the wires all cable tied and everything right here. There's the air. Uh, this is pretty cool. A little waterproof cover. It's not waterproof, water resistant. Nothing's waterproof, especially in salt water. And here's my GoPro. GoPro mount. And that's uh, pretty much about it. There's my Nissan. It's a four stroke, three and a half horse. Um, never put more than like a gallon through it on a trip. Could probably go 100 miles plus. Um, maximum speed, probably about eight miles an hour by myself. And when I'm when I'm running by myself, I'll I'll sit right here like a like a dinghy or a Zodiac. Stadium chairs are nice. Little armrest, make people feel a little better. Extra battery for the winch. A little dry box I got siliconed on the deck. And the triple mount's very nice. Very handy. Um, talk about the uh, outriggers, I guess. Like I said, underneath these um, coolers, I just have these clamps, I guess you would call them, going into the boat. And there are some toggle bolts that I found. They come in packs of 20. I got a jet flying over. And these toggle bolts have little plastic zip ties on them so you can push them through the a hole and then you kind of pinch them like chopsticks and then you run your whatever size bolt you want through it basically holds the uh, the, the big oblong nut in place where you can't get your fingers um, a lot of the other wiring I ran external for nav lights and stuff just along the uh, the deck rigging and all that but the toggle bolts go in there those are foam filled used to have bilge pumps one on each side uh, siliconed up the holes and everything and uh, full of foam now so don't need don't need uh, bilge pumps anymore on the outriggers I'm gonna put this down maybe you can see here built up did the same thing with the, uh, the PVC right here come to length cranked them in these are foam filled also um, rigid foam uh, you can stand on those they won't move or anything the deck on these boats now is just hard as a rock they don't have any flex any flex at all like if you know about kayaks See how that's flexing? That's how the boat basically was. Now it's just a rock solid. It's solid. Foam solid at least. So, back to the, the outrigger. I'm going to set this down and show you what I rigged up. So I've got these right here that I made up. This PVC sleeved by galvanized fence post inside and I bought these rigs here so I can pull that off there's a left and a right side so I can slip that in
so these outriggers can actually rotate independently of the main boats and then I just unhook this and slip this whole bar through the pipe and then uh, clamp it the hole right here so that pipe will slip in to here I line up the holes ignore these line up this hole with the one in the PVC and put that through that holds it to the boat and um, regular PVC was just too too flimsy especially for offshore and it would uh, would flex so in a nutshell that's pretty much it um, in the future I'll probably wind up having to re uh, rebuild this deck this rack is probably about $17 at hardware store uh, scavenged cart top it's rusting a little bit I'll probably sand it down and paint it but not bad for for a prototype and uh, gets me where I want to go I could be out to the oil rigs probably about probably about 15 minutes or so 20 minutes um, if I got my shit together so that's that I hope that helped and uh, subscribe and uh, shoot me some comments thanks later